Rampage, the epic FPV quad freestyle event hosted by Rotor Riot in Barnwell, South Carolina. The last one was in 2018 and I made a video about it and vlogged about it. This time around though, I just flew. So here's my narration describing the seven different flight lines and my thought process on how I approached each one. When I first got there on Saturday, the spot that I chose to warm up at was called the Junkyard. It's a spot with a bunch of these cranes with suspended objects, these concrete pipes, these shot up vehicles with their windows blown out. I was flying the DJI digital FPV system, but there were some analog flyers flying side by side with me. They just limited to like four flyers at a time and we would spread out video frequencies so we wouldn't step on each other. The cranes and gaps provided for some creative maneuvers, but I definitely saw those tires suspended from that crane almost immediately, and I knew I had to make it through the smallest one. At this location, I was using a GoPro Session 5 on my Armiton Marmot. It was a decent spot, but I did find myself getting hit a lot by other people. That tube gap was a popular one, and more than likely, you're gonna meet someone coming through the opposite direction. With two mid-air collisions after maybe only a few minutes out there, I decided to move on. Next up, Container Chaos. These shipping containers were there before, back in 2018. This year though, they added a bunch of right angle, huge pipes that you could fly through and create some interesting lines around. Of course, I had to creep up the stairs like I did last time and pop my way out the top, but I also experimented with those big pipes, kind of weaving my way through, tilting and banking my drone in just the right way to pop out the back going backwards. I tried linking a few of those pipes together like that to create one unbroken movement. I like the spot with these additions, however, in 2018 I was able to split S the floor of the second container into the first floor through this little ladder hole. This year I could not do it. Now I was using a different action cam so maybe I was too heavy, but more than that I think that in 2018 I had practiced so much in the weeks leading up to Riot Rampage that I was actually in the zone more than I was this year. This year I didn't even know I was going to Rampage until about a week and a half beforehand, so I was feeling rusty that first day. At this location I was using a GoPro Hero Black with Hypersmooth enabled. In all these clips, I'm using GoPro's flat color profile so I can add in a LUT, in this case, Polar Pro's Electra LUTs. Next up, Bandoland. Bandoland equals Riot Rampage. This is the spot. It's the biggest one, it's the one with the most dynamic, the most elements, and the most breakage. There's so many different flight lines you can make out of this place, and of course you have that tall smokestack with the guy wires which are just trying to snatch you out of the sky. At this location, I started out with a GoPro Session 5, and then I moved on to a Hero 8 Black. The next day, I put that Hero 8 onto my Sector 7 by HGLRC. So I was flying a seven inch LED illuminated bi-blade quad here, freestyling with essentially a long range rig. The reason I started flying my seven inch was because I was about to use it to fly along with Scott to chase Shelby Vol with his wing. We did a little showing off in front of the crowd, which was fun. We were about to go again when Drew Camden, Ladrib, shows up in a golf cart with a megaphone and says, we're shutting down the flight line, we're announcing a contest. I just so happened to be ready because I was about to take off anyway with my seven inch and participated in the contest to trippy spin up this huge uh, smokestack around those guy wires. That was a harrowing experience and I barely made it the first time. I, I did it a second time for good measure and I got up a lot faster, but unfortunately I was not the fastest to the top. However, just for participating and for using a seven inch, Drew gave me 20 sets of props, so I appreciate that. Thanks, Drew. Next up, 100 gates. And as I roll up to this uh, location, I thought, oh, 100 gates, yeah, right, there's probably gonna be maybe 15 or 20. No, there probably was about 100 gates. I didn't brush up on the proper way to go around these gates, however, and I was asking around if someone knew, and no one really knew, so we were treating it as a freestyle spot. The first flight, I used a GoPro Session 5, and then realized I wanted a little less weight on my quad to zip around faster, so I took that Session 5 off, and I went just DJI Digital FPV. The next day, however, I pulled out my analog quad, which I built specifically for this event, because I didn't know what to expect. If I should have an analog and a DJI quad, I didn't know what the setups would be for the flight lines. Either way, I brought out the analog, and it was nice reminiscent of the old days when that was all we had to fly. <laughs> Again, however, the risk for hitting other people is high because we're going through the same route, only a different direction. And yes, I ended up smacking to somebody else. So that's three mid-air collisions at Riot Rampage 2021. Speaking of analog, we move on to Micro Mayhem. 
This was inside one of those big industrial buildings. They created a micro course, so I took my Meteor 65 and whipped around that thing with analog video, which was pretty bad. There were some guys with DJI Digital FPV. They were actually using the Beta 85X, which I have. I have the 85X. I just didn't bring it. Anyway, analog got me by and I was able to fly around with the Meteor 65. However, my Ishin trash can did not fare so well. It would fail safe at the far end of this big room, so I had to fly my Meteor 65 only. At one point, coming around the corner, I saw a bunch of people walking by. I thought, what is this? And then I started to recognize some familiar faces, like Vortex and Nurk, and even Steel. You never know what you're gonna see at Riot Rampage. Now let's talk briefly about the pond. I only flew one pack here, and the reason why is because the stakes are high. You have to be careful flying over water, and when you're flying in an event with many video frequencies in the air, and the risk of getting blown out of the sky, you know, with your video frequency is high, then you don't really wanna be flying over water that much. I risked it with one battery and got some cool shots. This is the only time I used real steady. I thought, why not shoot with real steady with the GoPro Hero 8, and that way I can get a nice, awesome shot of the entire facility from really far away. I got some cinematic FPV out of my system and then moved on. The last spot I flew at was Tree Style. Now they had Tree Style back last time in 2018, but this time they moved it. It's a different set of trees. At first I thought, hmm, these trees are really far apart. There's no trees like really close together to, to roll through or to flip through. What can I do here? Well, I got a little juicy and I started to uh, flick around these trees and have a good time. I used a Hero 8 Black with Hyper Smooth on and just experimented with some blind moves and some dives and that type of thing. And I thought Tree Style was just a really great location to end out the weekend for me. Now I wanna give a shout out to Christian Malika who sent me the FPV Flight Dynamics book, Mastering Acro Mode on High Performance Drones. He had a presentation at Ride at Rampage and he also had lots of books available and it is chock full of important and interesting and helpful information on how to get into the FPV hobby but also how to excel in it and how to learn something. You're gonna learn something if you've been in the hobby for years. The amount of information that he has jammed into this book is incredible and I don't know how he did it. You can pick yourself up one now at Get FPV, Race Day Quads, Amazon, wherever you buy books like that. So congratulations to Christian for putting out this book and for having such a place in the Riot Rampage uh, event. So thank you Rotor Riot for hosting Riot Rampage, an awesome event for FPV freestyle flyers. If I met you there, nice to meet you. If I didn't, I'll see you next time. Take care everybody and happy flying.